Ahoy hoy. Uh, today is what, 29th? And on Saturday is Halloween. And it seemed like a very good time to talk about SCP wiki themed uh, Halloween costumes. I have looked online, not extensively, but a little bit, to find a listing of like common types of Halloween costumes when you think of the SCP Foundation. Uh, the the first one that I often see is a orange jumpsuit. That's uh, just basically put on an orange jumpsuit and maybe put D dash something 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 on it, and bam, you're a D class. Well, that looks like an, a legitimate prison uniform. That's the shirt, the white undershirt, and uh, yeah. A lot of people put on. A lot of people do cosplay. I have no expertise whatsoever with regards to cosplaying. I just, you know, have a passing interest in the idea of having a costume that somewhat fits. But we've got this uh, D-Class costume right here. Take a look at the front image. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I was saying. It's just a orange, you know, <laughs> outfit with the SCP logo on it. That's the other half of this. There's a lot of costumes that you can do. The MTFs, the doctors, and the um, and the and the orange uh, D class that don't really make like the connection unless you put the SCP logo on it. So there's there is that. But there are ways around it too. Um, I don't know. This guy looks like. I mean, that's that's serviceable. That's perfectly great. I like it. Uh, but a lot of people will do like an MTF costume. And there's this one right here. Which, uh, according to him, I mean, yeah, it looks a little sloppy with the white uh, peeking out around the edges, but I'm sure that I'm sure this was just like a ad hoc little like, hey, take a picture real quick before they tucked them all in. Because really, this is pretty cool, too. It's just a little bit of like body armor, <laughs> like a and a uh, helmet. And apparently this was made from like homemade. Uh, I should say this was made from. Uh, stuff that this person just had lying around. The only thing they needed to buy was the helmet and the uh, white suit underneath. So, I mean, and again, you gotta put the SCP logo on it or else you just look like a generic SWAT team member. <laughs> um, and then we've got simpler costumes. And again, the SCP logo is there, but it's kind of faded out. And it's got a, um, what is it, SCP-035? And uh, in a suit, so I guess this would be like a doctor who has been taken over. Yeah, that's the that the context for what this is. I kind of like this one. This one's um, a little bit more detailed. They're all really great, though. Let's see here. And of course, the SCP-049 Halloween costume, because of course, got to have SCP-049. Can't. <laughs> Honest to God, this is probably the easiest one to get a hold. Well, not the easiest, but one of the easiest one to get a hold of because a plague doctor is already a costume idea, and you can just do it and be like, "I'm in it," you know. And people will recognize it. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people might recognize it, uh, regardless of if you do it as an SCP-based thing or not. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. I really kind of like that one. That looks more traditionally plague doctor esque. Yeah, I like that. It's really cool. And then, of course, other SCPs that you can do. Like, <laughs> there's some really fun and funny uh, SCP-173 costumes. I actually, I mean, there's a lot online you can look through. Uh, there's this one uh, that I found that looks really cool. A lot of them have them with the pose, too, where they're leaned up against the wall. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, just literally... Pick something you want to make and then make it. Honestly, it's uh, it's 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 not easy, but if you commit to it, I mean, doing the work and committing to it, regardless of how it turns out, is uh, people are going to appreciate it regardless. If anybody tells you that you're not doing it right or that they give you a little bit of critique on it, because I know I know real I know cosplayers. Uh, get, <laughs> When they look at something, like, all they see are flaws that they've done, you know. They, but, I mean, and nothing is perfect, obviously, but that doesn't mean that it's not worth doing, right? Uh, this is my costume, which is very, very simple and very easy to get a hold of. You just 
buy a lab coat, <laughs> wear some sort of black uh, undershirt or any kind of undershirt, really. Actually, uh, if I had one that still fit, I'd wear a button up shirt with a tie, a clip on tie. And if you're done with that, you want to make sure you're right. You can get you can get custom made lab coats so you can get one with a name on it and or uh, the SCP logo if you really wanted to. And this is actually several years old at this point. I've worn this for a few Halloweens now. Uh, in fact, I believe it may actually have some dust on the top of it. But the thing that I use to identify it as an SCP costume is this thing. Um, let me pull it out of here real quick. So this is an ID card that I picked up off of Etsy. And I am not sponsored uh, at all, but I uh, highly recommend the variety of types of... I think I just bumped my microphone. Sorry about that. But I highly recommend uh, going on to Etsy and finding one of these. Just look up SCP... I might even give you a link in the description, but even if I don't, just look up SCP... Um, Hold on. I guess I made I got this six years ago. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Go on Etsy and look up SCP Foundation ID cards. It's uh it's for Jeremiah Samarian even. Let's see if I can get this in here with a focus. There we go. Um, you can get this with uh, this is the simplest and cheapest version, uh, but this part right here, you can actually get it with a raised actual chip on it. Um, and it's, uh, it's actually really, really well, uh, thought out. Issue date, maybe it wasn't 2014, maybe it was 2016. Issue date, 2016, March 27th. Expiration date, 2036, March 26th. Uh, US, or SCP Foundation identification card, grade EC for, uh, ethics committee. Clearance 04, Site 88. It's got the logo. It's got my picture, which is an older picture that I took with a web, a crappy webcam a long time ago. Uh, it even has a legitimate magnetic strip on the back. And I believe that this, if you scan it, oops, sorry, <laughs> you scan the, there's, there's versions now with like real, real QR codes on them that if you scan them, take you to the Etsy page, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, property of the SCP Foundation. If this card is lost, stolen, or misplaced, report it immediately to the security office. The SCP Foundation me reminds members reminds members the use of this card to grant unauthorized personnel access to Foundation facilities is against security policy and, re re and will result in immediate termination. So, um, finding a card like and, and little it comes this one came with this. You just clip this onto your onto your coat, and suddenly you're an SCP Foundation researcher. Uh, I should mention that this is very. Um, let's see if I can clip this back on here real quick. Yeah, there we go. I should mention though that the idea of wearing a lab coat outside of lab conditions, in reality, is not just frowned upon, but not a thing that happens because then you have to be like, which of your lab coats is the one that's actually uh, actually not, you know, not contaminated. <laughs> That's not a determination you ever want to try and make. Uh, but it's one of those things that it happens so often in popular culture that it might as well just be the norm for fictional characters. I really got to get out of this. The air conditioning at my house is uh, kind of iffy today. So this coat is a coat and it's starting to get a little warm. Uh, so let's 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 stop it right there. Oh, there was one other thing. Uh, Site 42, the Sherms channel, is doing a um, a charity live stream on Saturday. And I volunteered for the first six hours of the live stream. I don't think I've mentioned this to him, but I'm pretty much going to be uh, in and out throughout the day as necessary or as I am available. But uh, definitely check that out on Saturday. I'll link it. If you're not already following me on Twitter, there's a link in the description. Um, I'll link it on my Twitter and on my Discord, of which there's also a link in the uh, description, uh, when it goes live, so you know how to how to view it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com 
forward slash D Sumerian and pledge like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. You may have noticed I was starting to click to try and see if I could find the Patreon page before I got to it, but I remembered their names because I'm a good YouTuber. Thank you very much for letting me know that I'm not alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Tuesday.